I was supposed to upload this video yesterday, but uh, no power and all that, you know, with the hurricanes going on, I've been ridiculously busy. But um, this is my review of Anthony's book, In Search of the Ninja, The Historical Truth of Ninjutsu. So, once again, it's a pretty good job because I notice when I'm going through this book, things match up with what I learned years ago. And if it's matching up like that, then that means it's pretty accurate. You know, it starts off with the uh, thanks to Chris Jacobson, so that kind of threw me off. But um, after you move on to that, there is a lot of information. You know, it talks about the the um, beliefs of how the ninja oriented based, uh, how originated, you know, with the normal um, mythology that goes along with that. But then it also has in-depth, like really in-depth stuff relating to the actual connection between, you know, Chinese spying techniques and Japanese spying techniques, which is, you know, pretty interesting when you compare the books you know, all the Chinese classics, compare them with the Japanese, uh, you know, the Batsun Shukai, Ninpina, and all that stuff. You see the correlations, and he has them all spelled out in here, which is really good. This book is, it seems like it's a lot slower of a read than the other books that Anthony put out, because I think it is just, like, a lot more in-depth, and it's, it's pretty good, the way that all this stuff works. Um... Let me see what else is in here. Like, it has all the construction methods for the uh, different rafts, flotation devices, things I've talked about before. <laughs> the uh, thing that Soke talked about a while ago, about um, tying flares and stuff like that to a horse and then sending it into the enemy camp to set everything on fire. It's pretty crazy. All sorts of incendiary devices, landmines, or, or I forget what Greg said, a, a waffle maker, what that, I forget what Greg said that it was, but, you know, he should have known. So, this is uh, interesting though, when he talks about the Baiboku, you can see there, it's a gag. I remember on my Tumblr, it might still be up there, a while, a while ago I posted all the different types of gags. This is just one variety, but uh, Nawa Sensei, in his book, he described every single different type of gag. The ones that pull your mouth like an L-shaped hook, the ones that go across, ones that ball shape, everything. He, it is really in-depth, and uh should definitely check that out. Well, if I had all my books and stuff out, I would show you, but uh, it's a little too crazy, too busy right now to do all that stuff. Talks about horsemanship. Which is, uh, you know, Soke said that <laughs> we don't have horsemanship anymore because his uh, parents said he's not allowed to ride a horse. <laughs> but yeah, this is really awesome the way that it's so in depth. The uh, and I remember all this stuff about the sleeping powders, how it's broken down by each chemical part. Um, I have I forget what scroll I had an old scroll and I had a couple books that discuss using different insects, using different animals to make certain um, formulas like this. Using it for the sleeping powder, another one using it for to give you super strength or to make you immune to the enemy's swords and magic spells and potions and all that stuff. And this is all, you know, it all matches up of course, so this is definitely well researched. And then the hunger pills. There was a book that came out in, I think it was 1955, probably. It might, I'm not sure on the date, but it was, uh, it gave all the information that was in here, plus it gave all the uh, poison used by Coca Ninja. And it is just, once again, everything matches up. So it's, it was, this is definitely knows what they're talking about. And this, the, uh, how to tell, for, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's how to tell if a person is uh, snoring. Um, I think Soke discusses this in his Ima Ninja book. I'm not sure, once again, I don't have my stuff with me right now, so I won't be able to uh, double check everything. But it was either that or it might have been in uh, one of Nawa Sensei's books. 
And then here's the uh, how to calculate the height of a turret or how to calculate the distance between things. I remember uh, a long time ago I made a video with for uh, Greg responding to something and I was showing him different stuff like this and you know what is this and that is how you calculate the distance how you calculate the height and it's uh, a formula it's a mathematical formula so <laughs> it's in the book so this book is definitely worth getting and it talks about you know how to use the uh, uh, water spider, <laughs> you know, which we all know you sit in. Uh, but there is another thing with the uh, the way that moats are constructed. There was another type of shoe where you could walk on a moat because it wasn't water. It was actually a sand moat. But uh, that's a different construction. The walking techniques. This is all great stuff right here. The old... Um, Breathing underwater with a snorkel. There was a another book that where Soke actually did that, and he had like a guy with a huge thing on his head, and it was of course a joke. But uh, some people seemed to think that it was a serious way that people thought ninja would uh, breathe underwater. But yeah, there's more and more, just all these illustrations, tons of information. This is definitely a book worth getting. It's a lot more in depth to uh, uh, compared to the other books, you know. Construction of shields. I uh, posted a picture of a shield in my Tumblr a long time ago. All this stuff, um, horsemanship, all of this. This is just great information. Definitely worth getting. Can't really say much else about it, but definitely buy this book. Um, go to Amazon, it should be out already. Definitely well worth reading. Haven't done a book, I haven't done a video in a long time because I've been crazy busy doing other stuff. But, uh, you know, I took the time to read this and it's one of the, you know, I don't even think there's any other good things coming out. So definitely get it. And uh, that's about it. In Search of the Ninja, The Historical Truth of Ninjutsu by Anthony Cummins. And uh, there you go. Bye.